The synopsis for the short film Monkey Thief is about a young boy named Miles, and his sock monkey gets taken away by the school bully named Dolores. And so he has to rely on his stuffed animals to help get his sock monkey back. I'm Mason Spingle, and I'm an animation major. I worked as a character modeler on Miles and Dolores. I'm Lauren Quinn, and I'm an animation major. I've done some environment modeling, as well as a whole lot of texturing for the film. On the texturing side of it, I think the most challenging thing that I've done so far is trying to work between um, everybody sharing the files because um, some textures will start breaking and not render correctly so I've had to have to deal with weird technical issues on like the look of the film so <sighs> a little bit of a stressful job but you know. So Lauren is um, working on um, Dolores' textures right now because Dolores' cheeks look like she ran a marathon because they're really, really red. And she doesn't know how that happened. <laughs> they're too high. <laughs> so she's trying to fix that right now. Yes. Now he kind of looks, oh, never mind. Looking like Leatherface. Oh, my name is Yeah. My name is Joshua Bouton. I am a senior animation student at SCAD. I am the character rigger, prop rigger. If it moves, I'm the reason why it's happening. My challenge is trying to ensure the rigs are meeting the standards of my animators and being in a way that they will actually use the stuff that's happening on the rigs because I've had a few times where there are things that they could do with it and since it was hidden on some attribute somewhere, they're I want it to do this thing. It's like, it can do that. And now I have nice little diddly doos for them to actually have that for them, so. My name is Elizabeth Delos Reyes. I'm a visual effects major. I am the visual effects supervisor, lead lighter, and compositor. I think the most challenging part of this film so far is um, achieving the desired mood that is changed throughout the film. Um, as a lighter, it's my responsibility to really find, like, the mood of the film, try to set that tone and keep it consistent throughout to make sure to tell the story correctly. And I think that's, well, I think that's gonna be one of the most challenging parts of the film because it's so, um, it has such a deep meaning. I hope people take away from it is that bullying is more about how the bully or, or the bully uh, processes their feelings and it's less about what the victim is doing, who they are, why they're being bullied. It's really about people's inability to express themselves. And I think uh, we need to learn that. I hope they understand like bullying, no matter like what age or what, it, like everyone's affected by it at some point. And um, obviously it's not cool. And we should learn from it because you don't know what another person's going through and just be nice to everyone, just be kind. One of the best things about a film is when people walk away and they say, man, that that really hit home for me, you know? Um, I, or maybe there's people there that like stuffed animals and stuff and uh, people who have a monkey maybe at home and uh, they shared their monkey or something like that, uh, especially with an emotional film like this. It would be a very, very good turnaround where people come around they like, I like that film, I wanna watch it again. Some senior films, but it never gets done, and then you still are here in Savannah a year from now. 
I would much rather them just be like, just cut it, just cut it. Just rip the bandaid off and it's gonna really sting at first, but I just, I hate to just not get to move on, like with my life. Do you know what I mean? Maybe that's cynical, but it's just like, it, I don't think it's healthy in a way of like, you don't get the graduation, you don't get the final chapter. Now it's take a while, so I mean like I keep saying this is gonna be a snail's race, because we're racing to get to the finish point, but everything's yeah. just so back to the slow because we don't have the amazing ambassadors on one of the ads. Okay. Is this working? This is, okay, this is working. Here's my setup. I have my laptop hooked up so I can work it on here. And then if I get bored of looking at this screen, I can look at this screen. But yeah, this is my setup. I work on this stuff here and this is what it looks like. Yeah, being, being sent home has uh, kind of been a mixed blessing. I get to see my family a bit more and um, uh, it's been nice with that, but with with that, that's been kind of a big distracting factor for trying to actually get stuff uh, accomplished. It's a double-edged sword, really. It's it's tricky figuring out exactly the best way to figure out working from home and having to problem solve and not having a tech crew and having to download files from the collab space because my computer can't reliably access it and sustain an internet connection. You know, it's a time. It's it's it, like it's better than getting sick. It's better than like being at school and having a giant outbreak happen and a lot of people getting like getting sick and dying. Like this is, it's infinitely better than that. I can't do anything like this. I get to explain why they're not done, and I feel so bad. How are we going to collaborate because we can't be there in person? How are people going to be held accountable for? How's work going to be done? How are we going to be able to use the software? Um, it's been hard. If their internet connect connection wasn't stable, um, then they couldn't work. It was laggy. I don't know. Can you guys see it okay? Yeah, it's laggy. Yeah. Dang it. What we ended up doing, we have a meeting every Monday and Wednesday because that's class. We have a meeting on Friday for animation. We'll have an emergency meeting on Saturdays for animation if needed so that we could collaborate together and make sure everybody's on their, on their game. So working from home has been a struggle, but we have been able to overcome it. Uh, my favorite part of the film is the, uh, the scene where the jogger comes along and sees the kids fighting. Uh, just because it provides some much needed comic relief uh, and I think it encapsulates the idea of looking at things from a different point of view, but in a funny way. And maybe that helps the viewer digest the grand scheme of the whole film. Uh, not to mention, it's pretty funny. I think the favorite part is the last scene where uh, Dolores is like holding uh, the monkey, Henry. And uh, it's like a really big contrast with Dolores' character in the beginning. So that contrast is really heartwarming. Favorite part, oh, uh, it's just the uh, the fight scene, honestly. <laughs> Come on, there's some fun fight scenes in here. Um, like I, mo like I, uh, came up with the care design for the bear. I modeled the bear. That's my baby. Like I even like have this stuffed bear that I brought for reference that I made at Build a Bear Workshop. Right here, this guy. I've had him since I was five. I just love all the animals and like the different. I want to say fighting styles, because it's not like a karate movie, but just all the different ways that we're just attacking Dolores with stuffed animals. <laughs> I love all the different ideas that's come out of this. Every moment is my favorite part. I'm anim animating the entire ending, so the entire time, from the moment she gets hit and goes inside to the ending when she coddles the, the sock monkey, that's all me. And I really wanted to animate that because it's a very emotional part of the story. And I think that'll be my last hoorah as I finish this film and graduate SCAD. We're all doing an amazing job and I don't know where this film would be without this crew. It's just coming more and more alive, and the vision that we were all picturing uh, for this film. And so I'm very optimistic. I love this film. The story is great. It touches on so many things, and it's going to touch so many people. Um, yes, I'm very optimistic.
Hey MTV, this is my crew. Welcome. <laughs> oh.